Today, we're gonna to show you the quickest way to correct your skin tones. Have you ever had it where you've just finished grading your clip and then you realize that your skin tones don't look right? This can happen a lot, and there's a quick, easy way to find out whether your skin tones are right or not. So let's get straight into it. So I have my imported clip that I want to use. Drag that over to the timeline. Now, as you can see, we shoot in a flat picture profile, which washes out all of the colors and the contrast and the sharpening in the clip. This gives us full control when it comes to color grading and editing, which means adjusting our skin tones is gonna be much more flexible. So we recommend you do that as well. So I'm just gonna do a quick color grade, which you can find out about here, and then we'll correct the skin tones. So now that we've color graded the clip, the first thing we want to do is go into the effects and search for four point garbage man. Drag it onto your clip, go into the effects controls and you'll find it in there. Find the little box next to the four point color corrector and click on it. This will reveal the four anchor points in each corner of your clip. Each anchor point will allow you to manually crop your clip. And what we wanna do is crop anything in the image apart from the skin, and the cheek or forehead is normally a good starting point. So now we have our cropped image, which just reveals the skin. The second thing we wanna do is click on the window tab and find the reference monitor. You wanna make sure your reference monitor display mode is set to vector scope, So what you'll see is a representation of the color in your clip. The diagonal line down the middle is known as the skin tone line, and this is where you want your green blob to line up with. Now at the moment you can see our colors don't line up with the skin tone line, and there's a way to quickly fix that. Now if we go back into our effects and search for fast color corrector and add this onto the clip or grading. Now if you've used fast color corrector already, don't worry, just add another one. We don't want to mess with the white balance correction that you've already done. And here we have it. Now the only thing we want to touch here is the hue angle, which is located underneath the color wheel. Now this changes the overall hue of the colors and plays a massive part in correcting your skin tones. Now as my colors are slightly to the right of the skin tone line, I just need to reduce the hue a little bit just to get it in line. Now obviously the amount of hue you change varies depending on how bad your colors and your skin tone is. But what I like to do is do it gradually and then you can find the perfect point. and you know when it's right, because it'll be in line with the skin tone line. So I'm settled with minus 10, and now that we've finished, we can close the vector scope and delete the four point garbage mat from our clip. If this video helped you, give us a thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed, and I'll see you next week. At Sisu Fit, this is where the excuses stop and the results happen. Fuck yeah.